Hello YouTube, it's Melissa. I'm getting ready to start another layout and I'm going to start sharing what I'm using. This is going to be a Halloween layout from the actual night of Halloween. I've got three photos, two of each of my children and then one together. That's typically how I scrap it and maybe every once in a while there's a couple extras but that's usually about it. I have the Tim Holtz, the chit chat out and then I pulled this stamp that's still out from the fall layout. These are some fun foam stamps. Um, we'll see, there's a black cat and some other stuff. And then this is my box. This is all my Halloween stuff and I store it in here as organized as possible. So there's a whole bunch of goodies in here uh, that I have collected throughout the years and I will Hopefully do my best to get some stuff used up and then I keep my papers and things down there. So since I have no clue what I'm doing at this point, I'm just going to leave it at that and I will be back. I do know this is going to be a 12 by 12 layout and yeah, we will see where it goes. So these are printed at 3 by 4 and I'll probably cut them down a little bit, but all right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back, and I have something that I want to share that I love, and I don't want to say that I don't love every layout I make, but um, sometimes I'm a little extra proud of myself, if, if I'm being honest, and it has to do with a lot of reasons, but mostly because for, for this instance, I used up some old stuff that I quite honestly didn't think I'd ever get used. And when I went into, I'll show you, when I went into my box, which I have explained to you, so there's this side with my paper and this side with my embellishments in that tray. When I went into the box, I stumbled upon, I probably have like 10 to 15 uh, sheets of miscellaneous Halloween themed papers and from maybe 10 years ago maybe not quite that long but almost 10 years ago I was at a retreat with a girlfriend and there was a woman there selling Stampin' Up and I was in fact a demonstrator but honestly I um, am not the person to normally buy collection packs I'm normally just buy sheets here and there because I don't know, I, I, I'm not a paper, pattern paper hoarder or, I don't know, it's not my true love. I do love stamps and a chipboard. So anyways, but back to it. So I have a page to share and I want, I'm super proud of myself that I used up a piece of pattern paper that I have skimmed over pretty much every year for 10 years. So here it is. It's 12 by 12. I'll do a once over with a close up. And so what you're gonna what you're looking at is a piece of purple or violet pattern paper and these bats are on here with flocking. They're super soft. Um, I was showing pictures to my girlfriends and they were all like, oh wow, you, you cut all that with your cameo. I did not. These are all flocked little bats and they're just so adorable and I'm so happy that I used this paper. I have one other sheet as well so uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll use it another 10 years who knows but um, just kidding so anyway so what I did was is I I mentioned I printed the three photos in the three by four size cut them down a smidge mounted them on some black cardstock for my stash and just tore kind of on a little angle here I used some paper issues tissue paper because I think that's very festive and Halloweenish I pulled some other elements for my stash which were just scraps of stamping up paper this is just a scrap of paper and another scrap and just distressed it this is some washi I'm, I probably got this at Michael's maybe on clearance or something uh, so that was fun to get used up this is actually a piece of transparency and I put sticker and uh, rub on on there the happy is part of a sticker which was in my stash and the rub-on is from this old and I used a die from Stampin' Up do I still have it out here? I do 
It's the um, Deco Labels Framelits. I'm not exactly sure if they still carry this, um, but if you have any questions about it, you can ask me. So I used a transparency. I cut that. I put the sticker here. It's a spine chilling on the rub-on. I added a brad and some silver crochet twine and just stapled it kind of in a fancy knot, if you see that. And so then some of the other things that I had pulled out, I, I didn't use them all, but I have a package from Making Memories, super old, it's spellbound. I bought this years and years ago, but they're all little acetate, like glitter pieces. And I was able to get two used up on this page. I had a couple more pulled out, but I didn't use them. So this skull and crossbones. This scream on a piece of vellum with a tiny attacher stapled to it. The scream is from the Sweet Stamp Shop. This is called Halloween Doodles. I used this on one of my other layouts recently. And then there is this punch, and it's called Classic Label Punch from Stampin' Up. Now let's see. I also used another one of those acetate pieces right here. It's just like an oval frame and just, again, tiny attached, or stapled it with my tiny attacher, sorry. And then just some chit chat words. This I actually used my typewriter for, I put Beautiful Bell, but the other ones I got just from a miscellaneous. This is American Crafts and I just keep all my other things in here, so. Uh, let's see, this web is a spiderweb doily from Stampin' Up. I cut half of it and put it underneath there. And then the spider is a Martha Stewart embellishment from their Martha Stewart Crafts holiday. At some point they um, had these spiders and it actually has some flocking on it as well. So it's kind of fun because it kind of goes together. I actually balled up some of my sewing thread and had a little piece hanging off here. It's hard to see in this photo, but I jammed some underneath there. You can kind of see it better in person. This Halloween was just a sticker from here. And then another embellishment from this other sticker set is right underneath there. The 31 I cut from some one of the alphas with some orange cardstock from my stash. And then these little stars I stamped. I used this um, W plus 9. This is called Unforgettable, and there is this little cluster of stars, and then I used this outline star, and I just stamped them all over, and I went over the outline, the big one, with my black Wink of Stella glitter pen, and that's it. So here we go. I'll show you another close-up, and I just love this page. I'm super proud of myself. I know you guys can relate. It's, we can't love them all, but every once in a while one or two comes through and you're like, dang, that is just too cute. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with another layout. I'm going to print some pictures for uh, my daughter's birthday. She turned 13 last weekend, so that was a fun, fun weekend. So, thanks for watching, and I will put the links below to my Facebook page. I would love for you to come over there and like my page. Also, my Instagram, you can follow me over there and a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel. I would love that. Thanks for watching guys. I'll be back soon. Bye.